It's summertime, so let's be clever. How could we solve this system of equations? A system of equations is kind of like the level up from basic algebra. In basic algebra, you have one equation with one variable, and you're usually just kind of undoing things in order to get that variable by itself. And once the variable is by itself, that's what we call a solution, right? But you can see that's not what we have going on here. We've got two different variables, and they're in two different equations, and so simply undoing stuff and trying Trying to isolate a variable is not going to be as helpful. Normally what we might do here is get one of the variables by itself in terms of the other one and then substitute that into the other equation. But with coefficients like 51 and 49, that is not going to be an easy process here. The other option we have, of course, is trying to eliminate one of the variables. Usually we do that by adding or subtracting the equations, but you can see in this particular case that also doesn't end up helping us out. If we add these two equations, we definitely don't eliminate one of the variables. Instead, we get 100x plus 100y equals 1,000. And if we subtract the equations instead, we also don't get rid of x or y. We get 2x minus 2y, since 49 minus 51 is negative 2, equals 2. What's interesting about this, though, is it represents another system of equations. But because the only manipulation we did was adding and subtracting the first set of equations, whatever the solution is to this kind of simpler looking system of equations must be the same as the solution to the original system of equations. Here's what I mean when I say that this system looks a little bit simpler to me. 2x minus 2y equals 2, I can see that 2 everywhere, which means it can be factored out. And therefore, I can actually rewrite that equation simply as x minus y equals 1. For that matter, in the second equation, I also notice a common factor. 100, 100, and 1,000 are all divisible by 100. And so if I factor that 100 out, I get one single x plus one single y equals 10, since 100 goes into 1,000 10 times. And now this is a system of equations primed for elimination. This time, if I add these two together, x plus x makes 2x, and then minus y plus y makes 0. This is what we mean by elimination. 1 plus 10, of course, is 11, and then to get the x by itself, all I have to do is divide everything by 2, which gives me back x equals 5.5. Of course, once I know that x is 5.5, I can go back to either of the two equations I had a second ago. I'll just use this first one, and I can substitute. 5.5 minus what number y equals 1, the number 1 less than 5.5. It must be the case that y equals 4.5. And indeed, if I take these values and plug them back into that original set of equations I had, what I will find is now everything works out.